Interaction between parent and child components in Angular using the input and output decorator and also the event emitter. So basically here we have a simple application which contains two components, the parent and child components which have both some text and a button. And when I click on the parent button, I want it to display a message to the child just right here. And then when I click on the child button, I want him to display a message to its parent. So it's basically how can we pass some data from the parent to child and child to parent. Well, let's start from the parent to child. Here we have a simple parent component ts file, which contains the, um, the message to send to each child. Let's focus on that first, okay? And we can go directly on the parent HTML file and see that we have the simple um, button, which will trigger a function when we click on it, and it will send the hello child message. This uh, hello child message will be stored in the send to child, like we can see here and it will be stored in the message to send p, right? So, we can go to our child component ts yes, and see that we have the received parent message. Well, if I just add here the input decorator, just like that, and import it, now we have the destination, so where do we want to store the message from the parent? It's obviously in the received parent message because this is the um, the, the the variable that uh, we have to display at the end, like we can see here. So the only thing left to do is go back to our uh, parent uh, component HTML, go to the app child call, and we can add it between square brackets the received parent message. So basically the um, input variable. And now that we have the destination, we want to send to know what we want to know what do we have to send him, right? And like I said before, it was the message to send P. So we're just gonna copy that and paste it here. And that's it. When I go back to my application, I can click on the send to child and we have the response. So now we want to do the same thing, but for the child to the parent. Well, it's a little bit different. Let's go back to our child component. We have the message to emit, which is kind of important because here I will add the output decorator. And I, when I add um, this decorator, it's no longer a simple string, but now I have to create a, about um, this message to emit, we have to create an event emitter imported from Angular Core also. Well, what is the event emitter? So basically, it's it's um, here it's a variable that will emit, that will display, that will spread a message, uh, an element, uh, I, I can say a message here because this is what we want to, to, to emit. So I will display this message and the parent component can catch it at any moment. So here, event emitter requires a type. Basically here, this is the um, type of the, um, of the object that will, be, that will be emitted. And this is the message, right? So basically, we know that it's a, it's a string. Now that we have our emitter, like we can say in the child HTML, we have the button click, which will trigger the send message to parent and we send it the message to send C, so message to send uh, from the child, which contains here the hello parent. So we will write the function here, now that we have our uh, emitter. So just type this dot message to emit, dot emit, so we are emitting something, and this is the message. This is the message, which contains obviously the hello parent. So, we have one last thing to do, go back to our parent component HTML and also in our uh, app child call, here we will add between simple parentheses, we will add first the, um, the name of the emitter, so what is the emitter that we want, uh, from where we want to catch the message, uh, we, can say, we can see that it's here the message to emit, so we're just gonna 
type message to emit and now that we have the, um, the output I want to get this message so and I can say that I, I can see that in my parent component I have the get message so basically I want to 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 retrieve this message from the um, from the emitter and put it in my um, get message function which will pass um, the message uh, in my received child message because this is the um, variable that will be displayed here like we like like, like we can see here so the only thing uh, that we need to do here is to write this function get message and put between parentheses here dollar event and dollar event rep represents here the payload of um, the the emitter so what uh, the emitter uh, will uh, emit simply it's the message so so yeah that's it and when you have done this that's it i have the send to child and when i go now to the send to parent i can simply click on it and i have the message well it's simple as that thank you for following this um, video and see you next time